America's ass. Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Back with another action figure review. And today I am having a look at the Noda Studios Steve Rogers figure. And the picture on the front here is actually from Captain America, the first Avenger. But I'm pretty sure the figure is from his appearance in Winter Soldier. But there's the front of the box. It is a really cool design on the box. Side says Steve. There's the back and it says Steve, a homemade 112 action figure for display and fun. A clothing and body pack with shield and hands. Head not include. Hope you enjoy it. A man product, not for kids. And I think the original ones did not include the head, but this one actually included the head. I got this from a seller on eBay. Another cool design on the other side. There's the top, same thing on the bottom. Then the box actually folds open to reveal the figure. And there it is. And like I said, this is a third party deal. Nota Studios does some excellent work though. If you remember, I reviewed the Nano Gauntlet and Tony Stark head from Nota Studios. But there's old Steve, and like I said, he did come with a head sculpt on. Actually, an excellent head sculpt. But I'm going to get him and all his accessories out now. We'll have a closer look at everything. Okay, Steve is out of packaging, and he stands about six and a half inches tall. And for Steve's accessories, you get a pretty good bit of stuff. You get a lot of hands. You get these hands, which to me look like gun holding, trigger finger hands. And you get these beer holding or binocular holding hands. You get a saluting or butt slapping hand. You get a pointing or nose picking hand. You get these gripping hands. What exactly is he gripping with these? I don't know. Giggity, giggity. You get these bare feet, which I think is really cool. You know, that's something unusual to get with a figure is bare feet. I think this goes more along with the first Avenger scene where he first comes out of that chamber that makes him big. But in that scene, he was wearing khakis. But I suppose you could make it work with this guy. Cool though, I, I think it's really neat that they included these. You get this empty Captain America helmet and it tells you it doesn't actually fit on the figure, which is fine with me. I mean, there's no way you could squeeze that over his head and I'm sure if you could, it just wouldn't look right. I just think it's cool that they included one for him to kind of hold in his hand. You get this jacket, which is underneath of everything. You really got to dig deep to find this sucker. In this Ziploc bag, and I definitely will be putting this on him because that shirt looks weird with those sleeves. So this will be going on him in a second. The stitch work and just the jacket itself is really well done. I want a 1-1 scale of this jacket. And the coup de grace is this shield. Really love this. I love that battle-worn look to it. Just has a little red here and there where it's really been through it. And then the best part of this shield is actually on the back. There is a surprise. And it is Peggy Carter's picture in there. That is so cool that they did that. And sculpt and paint and everything on this is just on point as well. All right, so that's all for his accessories. Now we'll compare him to a few other figures. And here he is with the SH Figure Arts in the game Captain America. He did not come with Mjolnir or the hand to hold it. That's actually the hand from the Infinity War Captain America and the Mjolnir from the original SH Figure Arts Thor figure. And just look how much better the third party Nota Studios cap head is. Okay, now here he is with a Mezco 112 figure. We have the Vigilante Daredevil. And you can see that they actually scale really well together. They're about on the same scale, which there's also the SH Figure Arts in-game Iron Man. And they actually scale really well together as well. And that Iron Man actually didn't come with that head sculpt or the Nano Gauntlet. That is the same people who did this Steve Rogers, Nota Studios, as I mentioned earlier. Just really excellent work they're doing. Shame they have to kind of do it on the down low and just call him Steve and not include head sculpts and crap like that to get around licensing. Okay, now I'll compare him to one more figure just because I just got it and it was on my desk. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Endgame War Machine. All right, so that is all for accessories and comparisons. Now I'm going to attempt to get this jacket on him real quick so we can see what that looks like. I'm going to do it off camera because it's just going to be hard to do it like this. Okay, so there he is with his jacket on. And if you don't actually remember this look for Captain America, 
pulled up some images. There he is from Winter Soldier in that jacket and the blue jeans. There's another image from Winter Soldier with him in that jacket, white t-shirt, and blue jeans. I don't actually remember him in bare feet in that movie, but I'm not going to complain about extra accessories. Now we'll have a closer look at the detail on this figure. Where this figure really shines is this head sculpt. I mean, somehow they really nailed a Chris Evans head sculpt, finally, because no one else has, which Notice Studios is kind of getting to be a big deal, in my world anyway. Eyes look really good and glossy, painted really well. Again, the jacket looks really good. One problem I do have is these hip hugger jeans here. I mean, you bend up, if he had an ice crack, it'd definitely be showing. All he needs is a tramp stamp there. I might give him one, a little cap shield there, a little Avenger symbol, tramp stamp. I keep trying to pull his britches up, pull his jacket down and his pants up, and you can get it covered up well enough anyway, but and I wish those pants went a little higher. It kind of feels like they're glued or something here in his asshole. T-shirt looks a lot better with that jacket over it. Those sleeves were cut here and angled, and it looked kind of weird. I mean, I think it's meant to be shown with the jacket. Pants are done really well. Nice stitching down the side. Then you got his boots, which are sculpted good and painted good as well. He has peg holes on his feet. I'm not sure why, but some people might have a use for him. I don't. We don't trade lives. I know that's not from Winter Soldier, but I like the quote. And on articulation on this Noda Studio, Steve Rogers, he'll look up a little bit. Not a whole lot. Looks down that far. You can get some pivot. This jacket may hinder a little articulation, but I don't care because it looks so much better with it on. But his arms will still go up that high. They'll go forward a pretty good bit. I mean, you'd have to rotate the jacket with it as you move it around, but if you needed to get a difficult pose, you would be able to do it. You just have to work at it. Nice double bend at the elbow that the jacket does not affect in any way. He does have upper bicep swivel as well. The wrists are pegged in and on a hinge. He does have ab crunch, so you can crunch him forward and back. Swivel at the midsection. There's actually a ball joint there at the midsection, so you can get pretty much any movement you want there. Legs will kick forward that far before you start stressing the pants. Back, they get caught on America's ass, so they don't really go back. Doesn't do much of the splits, or you would literally split his pants. He does have upper thigh swivel, although I don't see how you're going to be able to use that. Good bend at the knee. Shoes are on a small barbell type ball joint, so they'll go back that far, they'll go forward pretty good, and you do get some good pivot. But now I'm going to put some of those accessories to use, get him posed up, and we will wrap this review up. All right, so there he is posed up, got his shield in one hand, helmet in the other, and to be honest, that's probably how he'll stand on my shelf forever. I did find this figure on eBay, if you're interested in one, go on there, look, and read the description and make sure it comes with the head sculpt, because a lot of them didn't. And there was actually two different ones. One of them came with a different type shield and not as many hands and didn't come with the bare feet or the helmet. So if you go looking for these, you really need to look at which one you want because they're not all the same. But for a third party company, I think this is better than anything released from like SH Figure Arts or anyone else, to be honest. I really, really dig it. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. I'm gonna snap you ugly. You're too damn handsome.